Welcome to Stonewatch. Today we're talking about Netflix original, The Atom Project. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify for future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, I was finally able to sit down and check out the Netflix original, The Atom Project, starring Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Gardner, and Mark Ruffalo. And I gotta say, it was pretty damn good. Now, I mean, it's a Netflix movie, so it's kind of like a toss-up of the coin of how good they're actually gonna be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. This was actually pretty damn good, I have to say. I thought Ryan Reynolds did a pretty damn good job in this movie, even though I think he's starting to fall into that whole thing about doing the same shtick in every single movie, especially after the Deadpool movies. You know what I mean? Like the tough, smart ass that's good with weapons, you know? And that lightsaber thing that they had in this movie, I mean, or the lightsaber-like thing they had in this movie, and they kept on making like the jokes about it being a lightsaber. It kind of was, a little bit. I mean, I guess it's like the most realistic version we could actually see of a lightsaber, even though that thing was able to do things that I never saw a lightsaber able to do. Like it was, they were able to use it to like to propel themselves off the ground. You can't do that with a lightsaber. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then when he made it in a double bladed, whatever the hell you want to call it, because he never actually did say the name of the weapon. Right. The kid kept on asking, is that a lightsaber? No, it's not a lightsaber. But then, you know, he didn't say exactly what it was called either. You know what I mean? So and then that, that one bad guy kind of had like two like dagger like type things and it was basically the same weapon but it, then he was able to um also make it into like like nunchucks type thing i thought that was kind of neat the fight scenes in this movie were pretty damn good i mean jennifer gardner was awesome in this movie of course mark ruffalo from the mcu and everything was awesome but i had to say i thought it was funny as hell how that mark ruffalo in two movies now i'm not like saying like back to back but in two movies now he was responsible for inventing time travel you know what i mean i'm surprised they didn't have any like um end game references or any back to the future references or anything as far as like time travel goals in this movie even though that ryan's rental character did break almost all of the uh time travel rules from that was set in back to the future you know about contacting your old family and everything and whatnot i mean i did like this movie i thought it was pretty damn cool now i heard somebody say last week in their head canon that this was like the 13 going on 30 sequel even though that mark ruffalo and jennifer gardner were not playing the same characters from that movie in this film but i couldn't help but but think that in my head as i was watching this movie especially when jennifer gardner and mark ruffalo were on the scene on the screen together you know i couldn't help it hey man and i kind of listened to see if they were using at least the same character names i mean not being the same characters but using the same names would have been funny you know what i mean you could have really threw that in there and nobody really would have noticed like right away but i did think it was kind of funny a little bit. The Adam Project is a 2022 American science fiction action film directed by Sean Levy. From the screenplay written by Jonathan Trooper, T.S. Nolan, Jennifer Flackett, and Mark Levin. The plot follows a pilot from the future who goes back in time and encounters his younger self. Production on The Adam Project first began in 2012 with Paramount Pictures and Tom Cruise attached, then fell into development hell till Netflix acquired the distribution rights in July of 2020. Filming commenced November 2020 in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Officially wrapped in March of 2021. Released on Netflix on March 11th of 2022 and has received mixed reviews from the critics and fans. Starring in this movie, Ryan Reynolds, Walker Scoble, Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Gardner, Catherine Keener, and Zoe Saldana. Just to name a few. Now currently the Adam Project is sitting with a Rotten Tomato score of 68% with 185 top critics so far reporting in. So a little over half of the critics like this movie. Now over to the audience side we're sitting with a score of 78% with over a thousand plus fans reporting on what they think about this movie. So the fans like this movie a little bit more so than the top critics but not really by much especially when you go by like the numbers. Like it's a little over a thousand for the fans and it's a 185 for the top critics so it's kind of like if you like do like i guess like the ratios or what have you so it's kind of it's pretty much pretty close again this movie was pretty damn good but you know i gotta say 15 or two i'm kind of glad it was on netflix to be honest with you i mean i'd have paid matinee price for this movie mainly because i'm cheap but other than that i'm kind of glad i got to see this at home i mean it was good it was entertaining the effects were pretty cool i mean i think like the the fake lightsaber was like probably my, my top favorite part of the whole entire movie, to be quite honest with you. You know what I mean? I thought it was all right. I mean, it kept on feeling like it was a movie I've already seen. I mean, I, I can't really place it on what that movie is at this point. I mean, I thought I had one last night, but I couldn't remember. But I'm right now, it just, I liked it, but it just kept on saying, Man, I've seen this story somewhere before, which, you know, the guy travels through time and he pumps into himself back when he was a kid. And there's probably at least a couple of movies that has that same 
basic storyline. You know what I mean? Like I said, at the Walker Scobo kit that they got to play the younger version of Ryan Reynolds' character in this movie is pretty something. I mean, I'm not saying he's like a spitting image of Ryan Reynolds, but if you put them side by side, you know, I can't even believe that he's Ryan Reynolds. I can believe he would grow up to be that guy. I mean, whoever the, you know, the casting director or who made a decision to get that kid did a pretty damn good job. Now, he's a pretty good actor anyway. I mean, the chemistry between him and Ryan Reynolds in this movie was awesome. Probably another one of my favorite parts of this movie. You know what I'm saying? But, and I think there's like a mac and cheese commercial they, they did together. I'm not a a fan of mac and cheese so i'm not gonna go check it out but i heard it's pretty good and i think it's tied in this movie somehow now an announcement was made that sean levy will be now the director for deadpool 3 which i guess seeing how that him and ryan reynolds are getting along so well in their last few projects with free guy which i still have yet to see so that'll be a video coming up so keep an eye out for that and now this movie the adam project which was pretty damn good so i mean now he's gonna do deadpool and i somebody said that sean levy doesn't do rated r movies so it's probably not gonna be rated r but they've already said it's gonna be rated r so maybe sean levy's gonna actually expand his horizons and do an r movie and that you've never seen before so i don't know man i did like this movie i mean i'm kind of glad i got to see it at home i mean maybe it would have been better on the big screen i mean maybe some parts of it would have been cooler on the big screen but I didn't really see anything that would be, I mean, if they really wanted to be on the big screen, they'd have made sure it got a theatrical release, right? So if you don't put that effort and put it out in the theaters, I'm not going to like say, okay, well, maybe you didn't think it was good enough to go out in the theaters. You know what I mean? So, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. So if you already had Netflix, you're not anything except for like maybe an hour and a half of your time. And it's actually a pretty damn good movie. So did you get a chance to check out the Adam Project over on Netflix? Let me know in the comments down below. Where does this rank with you with all the other Ryan Reynolds movies? Let me know in the comments down below. And did you like go to Netflix to see the newest, greatest movies? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I kind of do. I kind of flip flop back and forth on all the streaming services that I do have. I, I try to go to each one of them at least once or twice a month. They pick a movie to do a video on. So I can say to justify the cost of having that service. You know what I'm saying? So I can say I'm actually using it. You know what I mean? So let me just think in the comments down below.